what is a class? How do I create it? And why should I care? Um, all right, let's talk about classes in CSS. Um, I'm going to use an example that we just recently did here. We just recently transformed the text of a couple of different elements on our page to lowercase. Um, we can see here we actually changed the H1 text here. We applied the text transform lowercase. Um, attribute value pair here and we also did the same thing to the prior everything that's in the priority ID down here and that's fine um, but what if we wanted to apply that to several different elements on our page let me show you a cool trick we can actually create our own classes in CSS and that can actually come in handy the way that that looks okay is I'm just gonna put one in here it, instead of starting with a hashtag which is to identify IDs, we're going to start with a period. And the period is just a little indicator in CSS that says, hey, I'm about to define a class. I'm going to create a new class. And I'm going to create a class called lowercase. OK? Um, you can call a class anything you want. Um, and uh, the reason I'm calling this lowercase is this is a class that I want to apply to anything that I want to make lowercase. Um, and so to do that, I'm just going to um, add the text transform uh, attribute and the value is going to be lowercase. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And so now what I've done is I've just created a new class here called lowercase. And anytime I apply that class to something in my HTML, it's going to automatically transform the case to lowercase. And so let me show you what, what I mean by that. Let's start by deleting this text transform lowercase from h1. I'm, gonna, I'm also going to delete it from the priority here. OK, so let's save that. And let's reload this. And we'll see, OK, so now we're back to normal case there and normal case here. Let's go to my HTML. And now let's use our class instead. And this is how you use a class. What you do is the class. Um, in, in HTML, it's an attribute. And so we've seen attributes before. We can just type it inside the tag. And I can say class equals. And inside there, I just indicate the name of the class that I want to apply. In this case, the name of the class, and we just made this up, we called it lowercase. Um, there we go. There's our, our attribute, and there's the value, the attribute for the, the value for the attribute class. In this case, is going to be lowercase. And that's saying that anything that is within this h1 we want to apply the class lowercase to. So let's save that. And let's hit reload. And there we go. It's working. So there's a different way now of applying the lowercase um, text transform attribute to the content on your page. Um, let's now go ahead and use this class. And let's also, what if we wanted to apply it to that priority that div down here? Well, we could just go down here. And we could just add this class right here. See that? See, you can add as many different attributes as you want to, to this div thing. So let's hit Save. And now let's hit Reload. Same thing, OK? Um, now, this doesn't seem, maybe this looks like it didn't actually save that much work. But now you can see how you have a lot of, of different options. You can now use that class in a lot of different cases. Um, let's actually just just for the sake of it, let's actually go and create a new class. Let's go to style here and let's create a new class called uppercase. Uppercase. And this is going to look like, as you could imagine, text transform uppercase. And we're going to do this so that we can get rid of this text transform case down here. We don't need to do that. Let's hit save. Let's reload. See how this was all uppercase? Let's reload. And now we now it's all normal case. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to apply this uppercase class to the footer inside my HTML. So we can just do that by inside the div ID footer. I'm going to go class equals. And inside here, I'm going to say uppercase. And this name whatever this this name just has to correspond to period and then the name of the class right here um, now this example that I just used right here doesn't actually save us that much work um, but we're going to in the next screencast we're going to see how using classes can actually save us a lot of work sometimes it's the only way you can apply specific uh, attribute value pairs and CSS to specific elements so I hope that that was helpful thanks for watching and I'll see you next time